To update the product software or firmware, please follow these simple steps. This process applies to TrueTest scale indicators and EID readers. For this video, I will update the firmware in the XR5000 scale indicator. First, plug the device into a 110 volt power source. When updating the EasyWay 6, EasyWay 7, or XRS stick reader, it is not necessary to provide power to the device. Then, connect the device to your PC or Windows laptop using the supplied communication cables. Next, turn the indicator on by pressing the power button in the top left corner of the keypad. On your desktop, run or double click the TrueTest EasyLink icon. Please check the lower left corner to confirm EasyLink has connected to the device. In this case, I'm connected to an XR5000 indicator. If connection has not been made, please try another available USB port on your computer. Next, click Tools on the menu bar, then click Updates. There are three different methods to update the software. The first option, Check for Updates, will search the internet for available updates. If an update has been detected, please follow the on-screen prompt instructions. The second option, Check for Updates Automatically, is my personal recommendation. When this option is enabled, EasyLink will automatically search the internet for new updates every time an indicator or EID reader has been connected to the computer. The third option is Update Device Firmware from a File. This option is best used if you previously downloaded a firmware update from the TrueTest website and saved the update to your computer. Any of these three options can also be used to update EasyLink. For this particular exercise, I will select Update Device Firmware from a File, as I have already downloaded the update from the TrueTest website and saved the update to my computer. Next, select the firmware file from the directory in which it is saved. Once you have found the firmware update file, simply double click the file or highlight the file, then click open. EasyLink will perform the update. This process takes a matter of seconds on newer models. On older models, the update process may take four to five minutes. When the almost done message appears, click OK. You have now updated the firmware in your device. Please click OK, then click close. You can now disconnect the device from your computer and from the power source.